Welcome to the testing world. Agenda of this session is to understand REST API testing. In this session, we are also going to understand what is URI or endpoint. So REST means representation state transfer. REST is not a protocol, it's a set of guidelines which describe how a client machine can interact with server. Each functionality which is provided by REST web service is called resource. So I'm taking example like if you have created a REST service to calculate all kind of tax like you can calculate income tax, sale tax and many other taxes. So here we are providing many functionalities inside this service. Each functionality which we are providing is called resource. So rather than going for complete web service, we can access individual functionality as well. So each resource or the functionality can be accessed by using its URI. So we can understand it like that as a customer, I don't want to purchase your complete web service. I just want to purchase income tax calculation service. So income tax calculation service is called resource and that particular resource can be accessed by its URI. So rather than going for the complete web service, I can purchase only URI for income tax calculation. In REST service, we can get response in different formats like HTML, XML, plain text, JSON, PDF, HTML, etc. In REST service, if we are hitting any request, so we can use either get, get means we want some data from the server. Post means we are sending some data to the server. We are creating some resource. Put means we are updating data onto the server and delete means we are deleting some resources from the server. These are HTTP methods that we are going to use in REST services. So in this session, we are going to use Google Map REST API. So I have a URI for Google Map. So I'm picking this URI. So here I'm on a SOAP UI. First, I'm going to create a new project. Here, a new project. I'm going to create a new REST project from the URI. So I selected this and passing the URI over. Here, just click on OK and here we see a request is added to the project. Now I'm going to follow the same structure as we are doing in SOAP services like I'm going to create a test suite. So I'm adding test suite. Inside the test suite, I'm going to create a test case. Test case is added and now I'm going to add one step which is REST test request. Here we need to select which request you want to hit. So I'm selecting that my Google Map API that I want to hit. Click on OK. And here we see a step is added. We need to pass two input data. One is the address, other is the sensor. Sensor could be either true or false. One more important thing that we have to notice over here that we are using get as of now because we are giving input and we are fetching some data from the server. So we are not storing something on the server. So as of now, my request is get. Even we can see when we added the URI, it shows we are going to use get method. I'm running this test case and here you can see my step is executed successfully. I'm going to the test step and we are getting a lot of data from the server. In this case, we are getting XML from the server. As we know, in case of REST API, we can get data in the different formats. But as of now, we are getting data in a XML format. That is the first test case that we have created by using REST API of Google Map. Thanks for watching this video.